was like, did you join a pyramid scheme? I don't want to sell any juice. And he was like, no, like... You got, you got, do you want to be in a band? And I was like, we barely know each other. Ba- yeah, and I was like, um, can you call me tomorrow morning on <laughs> before I get up and like go to, hey, Sam, you're going to do something awesome with your life tomorrow, but right now, because I'm getting inspired just hearing it because I'm looking at her face as she says it. She just kind of like, mm hmm. It mm-hmm. was like that exact sorry, moment. No, it was like that exact moment that, like, you know, was in some cheesy movie about a musician or something where I was like, you know, I'm like, okay, I just got my degree. Do I get my nine to five, or do I like you know sing with this band? And I was okay. like, well, I'm gonna sing with the band. Aww. So Jake was like, um, all right, I need you to understand that like you need to 100 percent devote your life to this. Like if you are if you're going all in, you need to go all in. <laughs> yeah, because I'm I'm I'm, I'm pat like. I- I've already tried the whole college thing at this point, and like I'm, I'm in nowhere. Like this is it for me. Like I just realized something. I don't know if you know this. What's that? And if I'm if I'm totally off base, tell me I'm full of shit right now. Okay. But um, your hardcoreness is just now spoken word at this point. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, not, yeah. it's not even it's not even like you don't sing anymore because you probably wore out your vocals <laughs> trying to be yeah. hardcore. But now if he just talks to you, it just we have to do this. He's, he's passionate. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, and that shows up so much in you guys' music, where where he essentially tricked you into doing this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right. It was no, it was awesome because, like, for me, the I remember the text being really w- w- the text was important for me because, like, I sent her. I was at work, not doing my job at the time, and the, I think I went to the bathroom, and I'm like, because this was like right when the other girl kind of like quit on us, and mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna hit up this Lauren girl, and I sent her text. I'm like, something like, you wanna, you wanna make your career out of singing for the rest of your life and and something like that and then yeah. like she didn't she didn't respond it was like a half hour or something before she responded yes. or at least that is it, so fast for me to it, respond to it <laughs> too. it was it was a long time for me and i was just like oh man she she doesn't even know who i am and i remember getting the text back and it's saying that is she it said this is the greatest text message i've ever received in my life <laughs> And, and what something the like you hell have to is call up me. with these epic moments between you guys? <laughs> There's a lot of epicness. A lot of epicness in this fan. I'm proud of you guys. I want to text now. Like I feel cheated <laughs> because <laughs> we'll add yeah. you to our inspirational like, seven text 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 Like I wanted to text that says we're going to be here on this day to record <laughs> yeah. this podcast. But so <laughs> then the Rocky music plays. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part of the phone call, though, that I forgot to mention. My whole point of the story is, you know, I was like, well, what kind of, what kind of music?